Lab Breakout? Net of Noops? It's a game. I enjoyed it very much when I started playing. It was your regular born killer game with a bit of a twist. What's that you may ask? You couldn't kill the killer. This game had a bright future, with a dedicated fanbase. I made multiple videos that did and continue to do extremely well because of its diehard players. So it makes you wonder, where did it all go downhill? The mansion update was a fairly sizable update to the game, and it brought the mansion map, police, and some other things. I started playing this game around the time. It had a fairly active player base of around 50 to maybe a couple hundred players. Everything was looking up. Consistent updates came and it hit hard. A new city map, a whole ass new mode, an event, tons of skins, new currency, a new lobby, a new obby, new weapons, and they renamed it to Lab Breakout. Sure the city map was pretty glitchy and a little annoying, but who cares, it's a map. The Spec Ops mode was interesting, going into the map to destroy cloning pads with different specialists and the killer is invincible, but after the update, silence. Sure, there were small sneak peeks here and there, but we waited, and waited, and waited. Palm, the owner of the game, announced that they and their team were working on a new game, SCP Daybreak, and it seemed that focus had shifted over to the game, until... Skittles, a talented Roblox builder, submitted a map called Swamp in the Submit Maps channel on the Lab Breakout Discord, and caught the attention of Palm. The map seemed promising, being quite large and having good open areas too. The beast killer was also teased, showing a strange green swamp creature, but this was all we got, and when the update released, it was extremely underwhelming. The swamp map, although well made, was extremely dark because the Night of Noobs and maps are set at night. The large open map was impossible to navigate. You would get stuck on objects because you could not see them. Another major problem was the stamina. The killer? Was, has more stamina than the survivors to balance the game, meaning the survivors need to juke or jump killers to survive. But the large open areas meant that the killer could easily catch survivors. The beast was also extremely expensive and overpowered, making it borderline pay to win. With the long wait and lackluster update, people began to lose hope, but Houster, the only developer who seemed to still be working on the game, said a part 2 is coming soon. After that, there was nothing. Houster continued to post sneak peeks where he showed a remade version of the noob cloning map and a remake of the mansion map. He also said the screenshots were not for Lab Breakout, but a different project. I believe this would be the return of Dead of Noobs, maybe a remastered version or a sequel, but the teaser slowly stopped as Hom spent more time working on Daybreak. So what happened? Many say the game wasn't profitable enough, but it had an okay amount of microtransactions. It's clear that there was passion for the game, but it slowly started to seep away as seen in the Swamp update. Why abandon a game with a dedicated player base and a bright future? I believe it was SCP Last Defense that killed Night of Noobs. Houster said that the game had been cancelled, saying it just wasn't viable to keep the game running as seen in these screenshots. So that's it. A fun game slowly left to die because of a shift of focus to different projects. Hey, I hope you liked the video, I had a really fun time making it. If you enjoyed this video, consider checking out my other Net of Noobs content. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this.